Hey guys, I am John Rettinger, and today I'm gonna to show you how to build a website. A few months ago, I launched my first website since the sale Techno Buffalo, uh, john4lakers.tech. I tried to make the URL simple. Uh, I wanted a place where you, people could keep track of everything that I was doing, all the things I was selling, all my contact information, recent videos, all my social links, kind of everything in one place. So Wix reached out to sponsor this video. We're like, hey, we like your website that you built using us, would you like to show your audience how you built that website? So if they want to build one for themselves, they have a step-by-step -step guide how to create a website from scratch. So that's what I'm gonna do. I am going to show you how to create and build your website without knowing a single line of code. So a lot of reasons that you might want a website. Maybe like me, you want a hub for everything that you're up to. Maybe you want your own blog. Maybe you want to have a storefront where you can sell stuff that you're making or sell your old electronics. Artists who want to share a portfolio. There's just a ton of different reasons for why you would want a website. I think nowadays it's almost a cost of doing business. I don't carry business cards anymore. I just say visit my website uh, for people to get all of my information. And I think it's an important part of any professional, whether you're a young professional, older professional, um, in the workplace, having something that's your own. All right, so the first step is perhaps the hardest. Open up your computer and go to Wix.com. So if you guys wanna follow along, go to Wix.com slash go slash John Rettinger, and you can sort of follow along with each of the steps that we're gonna go through. So once you're signed up, Wix wants to customize the experience for the kind of website that you want. If you're looking to create a blog, they're not gonna give you tools to create an online store or something different. They'll sort of work to give you the best options for what you're looking to do. So what do you wanna create a website for? Well, this one is for myself. Have you created a website before? Yeah, I've created a few. What kind of website do you need? So portfolio and CV. So there's an option that you're gonna get through here. It's gonna let Wix's ADI essentially create a website for you. You can customize afterwards. That is incredibly awesome. Uh, we are gonna go through and actually create a website using the Wix editor. So I'm going to choose a template. So there's a bunch of different templates to choose from. I'm gonna pick the first one. It's actor model resume. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit. So if you don't wanna edit it, you just wanna see what a functional site would look like with that template without any changes, you just go ahead and click view. So this is the template as it comes. We've made no changes, but just to get a lay of the land, you can sort of look around and see what's here. So you can see the different pages you've got, your home, about, showreels, gallery, resume, representation. You can customize all of that and we'll get there. Social links you can add right here. You can see you can go ahead and move text around if you want. I'm just dragging and clicking it. You could pick different fonts and all kinds of stuff here. Uh, buttons on the side to give you shortcuts. You can manage your menus and pages here. Background image, obviously. So what I like about Wix is that like what you see is what you get. You can drag things around. If you see a button that you like, you can drag that onto your website. And when you publish it, it will be there exactly how you see it on your screen. All right, so first, let's do the obvious. Uh, let's get rid of that H there, John. And uh, let's go John. I don't need my initial. Just John. Change the last name to Rettinger. Obviously, I need to make that box a little bit bigger, so that's pretty easy. You just make it bigger until you have enough space. There we go. And I'll line it up. And you can see as I move it, I get lines to make sure that it's all lined up um, with the John. So it's pretty simple and easy to use, and that's it. There's my name. I wish I looked like that dude. Um, I should probably change actor and model here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that, because I am neither, and it's gone. All right, so the next obvious thing uh, is to change that background. So I'm just gonna right click, I have an option for change strip background, and a bunch of different choices I could pick here if I didn't have one of my own. Uh, but I do have one, so I'm going to find it, even put a video here if you want. I'm gonna click on image. So I have a bunch of different options here. I'm gonna pick one pre-beard. So I'm gonna pick this one, click change background. And there it is. That's all it took. 
All right, so I'm going to scroll down a bit more. I'm gonna change the about me. So I just mouse over the picture. I get the option to change strip background again. This time though, instead of putting in a picture, I'm going to opt for just a color. Uh, but if you want a picture, you do the same setup we did for the image up above. Hit color. You could pick one that's already predetermined here. I want to add a color. Kind of the color I'm using is kind of an orangey. So I'm gonna see if I can find it. All right, so that looks kind of close. It's a, a mustard color. So I'm gonna leave that one there and click add. And close this. So all the rest of this stuff here, I don't want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it. So I'm gonna click behind it, push delete. Picture is gone. Text, I'm gonna get rid of that as well and just push delete. And then I, I don't want a resume button here, so I'm going to delete that as well, but you could customize it if you wanted to have it there. All right, so this box looks probably a little big for just text about me, so I'm gonna shrink it and I go ahead and grab a corner. I make it about, about there looks good. I'm gonna move it up, so I'm just gonna drag it and maybe I'll put it up right below that picture. So as you're going through this process, if you make a change you don't like, there is an undo option up here at the top. So I want that text to come back. So I'm gonna go ahead and put about me, put that back, try to customize it a little bit more. And then here you get a ton of other options too. You can pick your font if you want different text effects. I mean, you really can get pretty granular if you want. It's a very powerful editor. I'm keeping things though on the simpler side for my site. So I do want to put an image here. So I'm gonna go ahead, hit the plus button and I'm going to add an image. And I'll go back to my uploads. And then I'm gonna pick the Beardo picture and I'm gonna to add to page. And that's obviously not how I want that to look. Uh, so you do exactly what you expect. You would just grab it by the corner, shrink it down. All right, so the picture came in as a rectangle. I don't like how that looks too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. I'm gonna click the crop tool and I get a bunch of different options uh, here. So I'm gonna to go to shape crop and I'm gonna put it in an X. What is that? That's probably not what I want. All right, how about a circle? Circle looks pretty good. I can move it around. That X was pretty cool though. So probably right about there. Looks good, hit the check mark. And just like that, I got my picture in a circle. All right, so I've got the about me, kind of how I like it, but I should obviously, I think have a little bit of text there. So I'm gonna go back to that handy plus button. I'm gonna click text at the top. I'm gonna pick heading five and I'm gonna drag it right where I want it, off to the side. And then I already have some text, I'm just gonna paste in here, but this is where you could write in whatever you wanted. I'm gonna click edit text, delete heading five, and I'm just gonna paste in my stuff. And then I gotta customize it to make it look a little cleaner. So I think that looks, that looks pretty clean. It's simple, it's black and white, people can read it, and it doesn't take up a lot of space. So here, I don't have film, theater, commercial reels to show, but I do have YouTube videos, and that's what I want to show in this area. So I'm gonna delete all these buttons. I'm gonna go to one of the other images that I uploaded. So we picked, I think with this one here. And there I am, without my beard. There's a lot of reasons that Wix is pretty powerful, but we picked it initially because uh, it let me add in all of my YouTube stuff without having to do any sort of coding. So I'm gonna go ahead and click YouTube. I'm gonna kind of drag it over there for right now. And all I have to do is just put in my URL. All right, so next I want to add all of my social stuff. So I'm gonna go back to the plus button. And then there's an option for social. And if I wanted just to add one individual icon, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or others, I could do that too, but I want the whole bar. Uh, I like the colors. So I'm gonna drag that bar, kind of put it there in the middle. So I'm gonna click set social links. So I don't really use Pinterest, so I'm going to delete that. I don't really use Tumblr either. I'm going to delete that. Um, everything else though I use, though I do kind of want to rearrange stuff. So I want to put YouTube first. I want to put Instagram second, Twitter, and then Facebook I think makes sense. And then I've got all the options to put the links down there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add each of those. So I want to change the size of these a little bit. So if I click it, click layout, then I can adjust the icon size a little bit bigger. I also can make them vertical if if I want to do that, but I don't want to do that. All right, so I'm gonna scroll down and this is a gallery and these are nice pictures, but they're not my pictures. So here you can do a bunch of different stuff. You can upload your own images. You could upload videos into here. Uh, what I want to do is I want to pull in my photos from Instagram. 
So I'm going to delete this. Management, hit delete. I got a big blank spot. I wanna add my Instagram feed, so I'm gonna to go to this add apps button. And these are all kind of preset things that'll do everything for you. So you have a Wix Pro Gallery, a PDF viewer, you can do a bunch of different stuff and a bunch of different things that you can search for. So I wanna add Instagram, so I'm gonna do that. There we go, Instagram feed. I'm going to add it. I'll go ahead and populate itself right there. And obviously I wanna customize it for my Instagram feed. I'll go to settings. Connect Instagram. It'll take you out to a website. That was easy. And I'm not gonna log me in because I was logged in on my browser. If you weren't logged in, that's where you would do it. I like the way this looks, but I think it can look a little better. I'm not the biggest fan of the spacing between the pictures. So I'm gonna go to layout. I'm gonna tweak the spacing a little bit more. Let's go down to zero. There we go. Put the pictures closer so they bump up against each other. So I'm gonna tweak the layout of this a little bit. I'm gonna move it up and I think I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. So I wanna take up this whole space kind of inside that safe zone. So I'm gonna drag it up to the corner and I'm gonna drag it all the way down. Let's see, right about there. All right, so we're, we got a website that looks like a website, but we're not quite there yet. So I'm gonna keep scrolling down. I wanna have a way for people to contact me, get in touch. Obviously they can do that via social, but also a form if they wanna send an email. So there's a get in touch thing here at the bottom. I don't want my address there. So I am going to delete that. Uh, we already have the social stuff. So I think I can probably ask that as well. We'll keep the fact that it says contact and I do wanna change the background a little bit. So. We'll change strip background. All right, so I'm gonna pick color. I'm gonna use the same one that I did before. So it saved it there for me, fortunately. And we'll exit out. So I'm gonna change to get in touch to contact. The font looks fine to me, but again, I could tweak the size or the font here if I wanted to. And it's my eye, it's repetitive to have contact here again. So I'm gonna ax that. And then I'm gonna, since I got rid of the text, this is kind of offset to the right. So I wanna center it. I'm gonna put it right about, and I can see. Maybe right in between, right about there. So it tells me when it's in the center. So we're gonna leave that there. So I'm not the biggest fan of the teal here where it says name, email, subject messages. So I'm gonna go to the little design brush, customize design, go to text. Go down to the bottom, here we go. And let's just make it black. Let's keep it simple. Change that one. And we'll change that there. All right, so I got one more to go. The submit is still that teal color. So I'm gonna click on the button, text. There we go. And change that to black. All right, so this is looking pretty good, but obviously I gotta make sure it's going to get to me. So if I click on the box and I go to form settings, um, I can do a couple things here. So first I could do a submit message. So it would say, you know, hey, I'm John. Thanks for sending me an email. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, but also I wanna make sure that it gets to me. So I go to settings and I can go to email notifications and I could set the email where those, all that stuff will get sent to. All right, so I'm almost there. Obviously I get a lot of electronics and I'm buying a lot of electronics. Generally I'll sell them on either on Twitter or on other sites, but I wanna have a listing down below of all the stuff that I'm selling, whether it's phone or camera gear, in case people are interested and wanna buy it. All right, so let me show you how this works. We've already kind of started setting it up. I'm gonna go to add apps, and then you can add a store here as well. So it might show up on here, depending on when you look at it, but you can always search for store, but I've got one here that says online store. And then you can add a bunch of different things here. You can add a PayPal button, a ton of different ways to sort of sell things, but the Wix store is the one I wanna use. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit open app. All right, so this is your store dashboard. This is where you would go to add your products and add pictures. So you can go to store products here and then you could pick what you wanna add. So I'm a product. We'll go ahead and pick that and you could change the pictures here, add the info, what the cost is, add text about it, any additional info and stuff you wanna automatically populate, return information, shipping stuff uh, and things along those lines. All right, so the store is all set up but I wanna add it to the homepage. So I'm gonna go to the add button and I'm gonna to go to something called strips. And strips is kind of another way to add an element 
to a page and there's a lot of ones that are already done for you. Things like testimonials, you've got meet our staff kind of pages, pictures, whatever you wanna do. But for right now, I'm gonna add just a black one in. I'm just gonna add a little text that so people know it's a store. So we'll go ahead and click, click at heading five. There we go. I'm gonna call that buy my stuff. And then because the store is all set up, I can actually add a widget now in this blank space that'll show everything that's for sale. I'm gonna go to plus, go down to store, and you can pick how you want it to show. I'm gonna do slider product gallery. It'll populate itself in there, and I wanna move it down. There we go. Make sure it's centered. Up there. And there's a little bit of white space I wanna get rid of, so I'm gonna click on the anchor at the top, I'm gonna drag it up, and now, I got a nice clean looking site. A lot of web traffic happens through mobile, through phones. So you have the option here to switch to a mobile view and see what your page would look like on a phone. And obviously things like text might not look as good as they do on a desktop. So you can tweak it here and it'll tweak it just for that mobile view and independent of what happened on the desktop view. So the site here is pretty much done. There's a ton more I could have added. You can see a lot more that you can add depending on what kind of site you wanna make. So I got a custom picture in there. I was able to tweak the text, have it be my name, about me with a blurb. Uh, I've got my recent videos up here. I've got all my contact information. Uh, I've got all my social channels there, my Instagram feed, contact form down below that will get sent to my email. I set up an online store where I can sell all of my stuff here. And again, there's still bunch more that I could add to all this. And I did all this in pretty much very little time. And again, there's a lot more you can do. You could buy domain names from here. You could have custom URLs. You can do all the publishing right from the Wix editor. It is incredibly powerful. So if you've got that idea in your head to create a website, maybe you've been intimidated to do it, Wix can bring that idea to reality. Check out wix.com slash go slash John Rettinger, link to it down below, and make that website come to life.